Yo, what is up guys, how are you doing? And today we're gonna be reviewing the newest sneak peek for the Town Hall 14 Clash of Clans update, which are the battle builders. As you can see, these builder huts can be upgraded up to level four to become not only defensive buildings, but also have special abilities for the builders themselves, where they can actually heal up buildings that are damaged during the battle, which may be very beneficial. So let's first review what we saw in the official Clash of Clans uh, video, which are, as you can see, battle builders, and you see the, the hut going from level two all the way to level four, as it's been upgraded here, it starts shooting at targets, um, and it's also the level four hut, and you see the battle builder actually healing up that cannon on the left there, uh, and this elixir storage as it's being damaged by the enemy troops, and available at Town Hall 14. So let's talk more about their appearance. Um, uh, this is a screenshot taken from the new section of on the Clash of Clan games itself. Um, and let's start off with level two, which is the hut on the left. As you can see, there is some added um, reinf reinforcements to the bottom of it. So kind of like the foundation is slightly wider uh, with the stone uh, and also the rim uh, just below the roof, the black roof. Uh, has this also green wood appearance, which is going to be quite prominent throughout the Town Hall 14 theme as it's uh, moving to the jungle appearance. Uh, the crossbow itself also has uh, a touch of green on the sides of it. Um, and also the spear of the actual crossbow is gray slash silver, suggesting that it's probably iron. Uh, so not much upgrade in the expo department. And then moving on to the level three builder hut, and you can see this is a a bigger upgrade uh, than from uh, from level two, as the the foundation is much more expanded throughout here, uh, kind of reminding of kind of like the uh, archer tower how it gets much more stone at the bottom to solidify it, um, and the crossbow crossbow doesn't change at all, uh, but the roof of the builder hut now has these black pointy edges and a green wood instead of uh, the black wood that was on the top there so uh, yeah kind of just making it look like it's much more difficult to break and now moving on to the final level which is the most royal one per se <laughs> which has now a golden aztec like um uh, pattern at the, at the rim just below the roof um which re follows on from the Town Hall 14 appearance that we, we are going to see. Uh, the foundation is now two level. There's two steps to it, suggesting again that it's extra solid. And also the roof has golden pointy edges to make it much more royal. And the spear itself is also golden, just to show that this is much more expensive and this is going to do much more damage. So yeah, now let's look and move on to the stats of these builder huts itself. So now looking at their stats, uh, it's not only the builder huts it themselves being added, but there's also gonna be a new achievement, which is called Bust This, and it involves you destroying the weaponized builder huts in multiplayer battles, and you will get uh, 10 gems for 25 huts destroyed, 30 gems for 250 huts, and 100 gems for 2500 huts destroyed which seems qu like quite a big number to destroy we don't know how powerful they will be against uh, maybe lower level heroes or troops but um it's definitely achievable uh, i think i've got more than 3000 uh, normal builder huts destroyed so it shouldn't be, really be a problem uh, and now for the actual defensive builder huts levels and their uh, stats so for level two the upgrade time is 10 days so it's really quite steep if you really want to upgrade the builder huts which you will have to if you want to be the top player uh, the upgrade cost is 9.5 million damage per second 80 and also the repair per second which is when the builder comes out of the hut and repairs the building surrounding it is 50 per second so it's not uh, too bad uh, with hit points 1000 so uh, a warden for example if it hits the uh, builder hut uh, once uh, at level at level four uh, and it will require three shots because the builder uh, itself will heal up the hut 
before uh, the warden can destroy it in two shots. So it does uh, require more time to be spent. Uh, uh, and potentially, uh, we're going to see much more time fails at level at Town Hall 14 than we would at Town Hall 13. Uh, for level 3, uh, the upgrade time again, 12 days, these are super super long. Uh, I don't think even the main Inferno weapon uh, for Town Hall 14 will take as long as some of these huts. Um, certainly not level 1 and 2 uh, will take much shorter than 12 days, I think it's like around 8 days, 10 days. The upgrade costs 12.5 million, damage per second 100, repair per second 55, and hit points 1300. So the main thing that actually changes is the hit points as they go up 300, uh, which is the biggest upgrade um, as the repair per second only goes up 5 and damage per second only goes up 20. Uh, at level 4, the upgrade takes 14 days. So can you imagine 14 days to upgrade? You require a builder for each of these huts to be upgraded. So you're already one less builder because I don't think the builder himself can upgrade his hut, his hut although actually no i think that would work although that will still be yet to confirm i unfortunately don't have the developer build so i can't tell you that information uh, but yeah 14 days extremely long time just for a builder hut and imagine just just for 120 uh, damage per second so you're basically taking a whole month out no even more than one month to upgrade each of your builder huts um, to level four. So it's really a top player um, uh, thing uh, to upgrade this quite quickly. And it will, uh, pro I'd probably recommend focusing on other defenses before upgrading these because the damage per second is not as large as you, for example, will get with the scatter shot. Uh, the range is six tiles. Uh, and in that range, it also involves the builder just walking around um, and can heal up any building in that range and, and that's also the range of the expo obviously the damage type single target so just like the normal expo and can attack not like the normal expo because it can attack both ground and air so that's quite useful because you don't have to choose if you want to point in ground or air and the favorite target any so quite a nice versatile weapon doesn't do too much damage but it definitely will help out for example if someone's oblivious to knowing that you have upgraded your builder huts all the way to the maximum level and they're like oh easy 100 percent when they have only like one archer left and then boom pops out the expo and you destroy them so yes um it says grab your hammer builder it's time to battle uh, unfortunately they will be only available at town hall 14 so the only difference they will make it's probably slight because of the levels of troops at town hall 14 so that's kind of a shame that they didn't add them to the lower levels but obviously they cannot be adding uh, too much stuff to the lower town halls as they're focusing on constantly progressing the top levels of town halls and yeah and this is why the prices are so much higher because it's at town hall 14 and you would kind of expect it to be maxed out um, and to do that they need to extend the time because they need another two years to go to town hall 15 where we will probably get a new hero but let's not get ahead of ourselves we're not even at that town hall 14 yet um and yeah my thoughts and opinions on this uh, new update i think it's quite a good addition it has been uh uh, speculated uh, by uh, Galadin, I remember, two months ago. You, I don't know if maybe it was his idea and they were like, oh yeah, that's a good idea, Galadin. We're gonna add that into the game. Uh, or maybe he was the one that invented uh, also the projects. So yeah, I don't know how closely the YouTubers work uh, with the Supercell uh, team. But it will. it's definitely interesting because it makes you think about how to really attack a base because you might end up in a situation where it's just one builder hut left and you don't have enough troops so it will give another dimension to the top esports teams and players to try to decide how to approach every single base because we don't know it they might be the most efficient on the outside of the bases uh, maybe next to uh, high hit point buildings like storages uh, where they will uh, just heal them up or they might be really useful in the middle of the base 
uh, like surrounding the town hall where five of them at once and they will heal up the uh, town hall as it's being attacked and with the town hall 14 weapon so and that might be an unstoppable force but everything's yet to come you still need to place your other defenses somewhere so for example there will be this trade-off like oh what if i place these here uh, these huts here but then you could have a eagle's artillery light right next to your town hall and it, and the eagle needs to be protected as well so definitely uh, expect some new base designs um, and new strategies coming up soon in the future so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye